So I'm wearing a Christmas sweater. It has pom-poms on it and a gingerbread man and candy canes and a penguin. And I have a cute Christmas cup with coffee in it. So all things are jolly and festive, except my calendar is still November, so we're just not gonna pay attention to that. So in today's video, what I wanted to have a little chat about is related to like judging other people. Um, I feel like I've just been kind of like frustrated by this recently, like especially online and like people making rude remarks towards other people. Um, and just like assuming things about a person when they don't actually personally know them, that's really it. I didn't really like come up with a script for this video, so it's really just going to be like me talking about things that I've been seeing and just kind of like where my, my heart is out on this. By the way, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Caitlin. Happy to have you here watching today's video. If you click the subscribe button and hit the little bell, you'll be notified when my videos are posted because I don't have particular days that I've been posting on recently, so it's great when you get the notification that way. What I've been thinking about especially is related to <laughs> Lauren Daigle, which I think that a lot of people have probably seen like a lot about her recently, whether it's good or bad. There's like two very extreme perspectives on it, I feel like, on like what she's doing and like people condemning her and calling her out saying she's like not a Christian. This is not just relating to Lauren Daigle, but if you do not know a person like on a personal level, like we do not know their heart position and like we do not know where they're coming from. And what I know that the scripture says is that God does not see the way that man sees. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the hearts. And if we're to be ambassadors of Christ, then what I think is that we need to be praying to have a Holy Spirit-led perspective of other people um, so that we're not quick to judge, assume, and like perceive things. And I looked up what the definition of perceive was, and this just seems to be something that happens so often, and especially even in the Christian community. So there's multiple different definitions for the word, but the one that I'm thinking of, so this one says regard, view, judge, deem. So it's very much like a up in the air. It may not be actually what is apparent in front of you, but it's just kind of like what our minds tends to do is like we see someone, we see them doing one thing and then immediately like we profile them and like we stick a label on them and we like accuse them and it's so easy to get so caught up in that. But when it comes down to it, like we do not personally know them and we don't know their heart. We don't know what they're going through. And I think that we have to be patient on our side and just be aware of like our tendencies to be imperfect um, because no one is perfect. Like we all have our weaknesses. We all have our struggles that look different from one to another. And we just have to keep that in mind. And especially like on social media, so easy to just like comment something rude to someone, but like you don't know them. Like when someone leaves a rude comment, comment on one of my videos I'm like dude why are you wasting your time like accusing me of something when you don't know me like you don't know who I am and thankfully like I can be firm in like who I am because like I know that what one person like perceives is not who I am but when you have so many people constantly attacking you I could assume that that can be super super discouraging and really difficult and so rather than judging and just accusing someone that we don't know I think rather we should one pray for them and if they are a believer and you're worried about something that they're doing then pray for God to convict them because if they're a believer, they have a relationship with God. And if anyone's going to have the greatest influence on their life, it's going to be the Lord speaking into them. And if it's not going to be the Lord speaking into them, then it's going to be the people that know them the most and know them well. It's like the close knit community that are around people are going to have the greatest influence on their life. And so I think that as Christians, we just need to be aware of like our words and like the ability to either speak life or death. And from personal experience and just seeing people that have had life transformations, the way that they experience transformation is not by being condemned and accused of their sin, but rather it was by having people that love them through it, not encouraging sin, but rather like loving them through it and 
encouraging them to like to seek out the Lord's guidance in their life. It's through a relationship that people can experience like true love and transformation when they are struggling with something and are struggling possibly with sin. And this is no longer like necessarily talking about Lauren Daigle, but just in general, something that I've seen between Christians. I know especially if we're talking about non-believers, like by just accusing people of what they're doing is not going to change them. Um, throughout scripture, you see like this relationship between faith and then acting um, and obedience and the obedience follows believing and follows faith and so if anything we must first share the love of Christ and what he did for us before expecting them to just completely tra like change their life this video has just kind of been a little bit all over the place but it's just something that's kind of been on my heart and something that I wanted to share uh, I've just been wanting to make this video for a while because I've seen people coming out with videos that I feel like have just, or like videos or blog posts or other things that have seemed just so harsh. And I know from like my perspective is I do not know Lord and Daigle personally. And so it is not my place to like accuse her and like judge her heart. Um, I do know that she posted a Bible verse today on her Instagram. Um, and so I, you know, I'm not going to accuse her as being like not a Christian. And I think that her music has personally had a positive impact on my life. You know, if someone stumbles upon her new album and they listen to that, for me, I feel like it's pretty evident that it points to God the Father in the music. But, you know, if some people think that it doesn't, then if they find her other albums, her older ones, they like definitely talk about God. So that's just kind of what I've been thinking about. So my camera ended up dying. I knew the battery was low, but I was hoping it would make it through the video. So I'm just going to wrap up this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Really in the comment section, I just kind of wanted to open up a discussion to just talk about things that you've personally experienced. If you're a new Christian, you have seen the way that people have experienced transformation in their life. Like how have you seen people experience true transformation in their life when it comes to being obedient or when it comes to just becoming a believer. Like, I just want to hear some stories that you have. I love y'all so much. Have a blessed day and remember that your worth is far above rubies. Bye y'all.